everybody. Welcome back to another Like A Fish Carping from yours truly, the Carp Hunter. Hope everyone's had a happy new year. And let's get into 2022, eh? Um, basically, this video is about a lake. It's about four or five acres in size. It's got a good number of fish in it. Um, a good number of twenties in there. Um, my mate told me that I should fish it. I fished it a couple of times, but I'd never had really much success. I'd had three, but I've had three in about a year and a half, something like that, maybe a bit longer, but I haven't put any time in. So my mate said, come down with us, do a night with us and uh, go from there. So I was like, yeah, right. And so I went down and the first night I did on there, I had a special one out. And uh, from that moment onwards, I thought, good lake this is, I'll put a campaign on in here. So we did. But at the time, I was using a new bait that had just come out by Scientific Baits. I was using the tester bait called the Frank 30 or the Frankie Mix. Boy, it is an absolutely outstanding bait. Um, the fish love it. I love it. <laughs> but most importantly, the fish love it. So yeah, I'm on that bait now. It's called Frank 30 by Scientific Baits. Main Mandine Dowie. But yeah, so this is just a little bit of footage that I've got together. On my, of my fishing on there. Um, I did have a few, a few 20s to be fair. And uh, yeah, the fish in there, the stamp of them, there's some right oldies in there. Um, yeah, I just fished it how I normally fish anywhere else, Ronnie Riggs, with this new bait that I was testing. And um, it just went off for me. I had a cracking year on there, to be fair. Um, I didn't fish summer as things come up, moved out, so, so on and so forth. But yeah, so this is just a little piece on this lake itself. I did enjoy me fishing on there massively. So I hope you all enjoy it. Without further ado, Let's get to it. So that fish was is named Heart Tail. It's one of the main sought after fish in there. There's only a few with a couple of names like, but that's 25 pounder, old as the hills. Absolute mega one, buzzing to have that on my first night. And then I changed spots to go fish on a different peg. Um, I was fishing out at 16 wraps towards center of the lake as such. Found a nice spot right on the back of a weed bed. So I was fishing off a rod length away from that. <clears throat> and uh, the success just carried on. So, yeah, I hope you like what you see.
next fish is probably one of the fish of me year, last year, 2021. 24 pound slate gray, absolute bangy. Probably my top three fish this year. Basically, from then on in, it was 20 pounders. I couldn't get any small fish, as weird as that sounds, but I was just having the 20s. And then I had this fish 
that normally does about £24. But I had it at £27 on the button. So I couldn't believe it, like a bit of a shocker, but mega fish. Bit ugly, but it's a mega one. So yeah, I had that one, and then the recap started for me, started recapturing fish. So the first one that I had out of there was art tail, and then re-caught that one again, off another spot, at 16 wraps one, on the rocks. And then, I think the bite sort of dried up then a little bit, for a little while. And then, I switched pegs again, did a night on another spot and this is what come from there Yeah, so uh, after I did a quick night on that spot, I decided to go back onto the rocks onto my spot again. I think I did one or two nights on there and didn't catch anything. So I decided then it was to go on the path side. Uh, my fish to the right of this tree. Uh, 10, 11 wraps. And then I started catching again. But the fish I started catching was recaps from the fish that I was catching on the rocks. So I didn't know what was going on to be fair, but I was just having these recaps. So I ended up having a few in one night and then I did more sessions on that spot itself. I uh, did give it a bit of bait to be fair. I was putting like 10 spawns over each rod every time I was putting a rod out. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, um, it just carried on and carried on. Let's see some more. Ha <laughs> ha 
that. It's when I knew the spot was coming good. I think I'm wrong. I was having recaptures, but I was still catching. <clears throat> so uh, I carried on on that same spot. And then these next fish, I had them all in one night. Um, recap, one recap or two recaps again on that one. I had that twisted common that did 27. I had that at 24. And the bites just kept coming from the spot, you see, so I just carried on fishing that same spot. Stanky, stanky. So after I had them four in that one night, um, I went on for another night, had another recap, that art tail fish again, about 24 pound I think, and I had a tench. on for another night at the same spot and I had this one known as the pristine common pretty much a lot of people want to catch that fish but I had it man and it's absolutely bangy I ended up recapturing that twisted common again as well at 24 but I didn't get that out of pictures done hooped it let go in the net
So from that moment on, I've had a few recaptures now off this spot. So I decided to go back over to the rock spot again at 16 wraps. Um, I fished that and I had this common. I had absolutely massive scales. So yeah, when I first started, I seen a number of fish on pictures and stuff of friends and so on and so forth. And I seen this one that they call Starburst. And as soon as I saw that, I wanted it like, that was my target fish. So when I moved over back over to the rocks and I had that common with big scales. Yeah, I did another night on there and four o'clock in the morning, I had an absolute one tone. It, teared off and it was just an absolute epic battle um my friend was next to me so he come over to me while i was playing the fish and um as soon as i netted it and i was buzzing my head off i shouted it out as loud as i could i've got star based yeah man it was buzzing for me as well like so Let's show you the footage of that one. As my campaign wrapped up on Alden Lane, and um, I caught the one I wanted, obviously, as you can, see, as you see in the video at the end. Um, recently, I've seen a couple more come up on my radar that I'd like to get my ticket for again, but uh, that won't be this year. I'm fishing another lake at the minute. You will see little bits and bobs of that, but I'm not doing too much until I hit my main lake the end of March, beginning of April, sort of time. Um, the lace I'm fishing at me has got a few bangers in, to be fair. Uh, there's only 18 fish in there, but hey ho. I'll catch a couple. There's one that I want out of there, so let's see if I catch him. But yeah, I um, just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's watched my videos, liked my videos, subscribed to my channel, and added me on social media. Uh, these videos will keep coming. Um, but I'm just getting a little bit better with everything, getting used to everything as such, getting a few more bits of equipment, cameras, GoPros, so on and so forth. But yeah, basically, I, I, I'm just going to start doing more vloggy stuff from now on. 
But I just want to say a massive thank you to Matt McFarland for doing me my pictures and Matt Johnson for doing some pictures for me as well. Mega shots, absolutely mega. And um, a massive thank you to Dean Towie from Scientific Baits. Says bait is just through the roof. Absolutely smashing it. Um, the Frankie mix, absolutely love it. Frankie stanky, I call it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, new next videos that will be coming out, it will be more vloggy and you will get a more, bit more in depth than my rigs and our time and the bait that I use and what process I use to baiting up and how I find spots, so on and so forth. But yeah, um, like and subscribe to my channel it's massively appreciated you'll find me on instagram and facebook like a fish carping so yeah everyone be good big love from the carpenter and i'll see you all very soon